Hello, YouTubes. I'm gonna take a quick break from playing Kingdom Rush and do something that just came out called Outpost Haven because I can. Three new subscribers. Boludnico. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Center Stream 123 and Supreme Lego Builder, and that's very, very loud. Just the camera a bit. Zooming in a little bit. There's all that stuff. There it is. Outpost Haven. And all its outposty glory. Let's turn it down a little bit. Alright, I'm going to be running through the campaign, but there are some important things that you're going to have to know. I've already played through it multiple times and gotten most of the awards, uh, challenges and stuff. I've maxed out my rank, I've gotten a whole lot of kills with stuff, and I've also gotten a ton of those little data pad thingies. But anyways, I'm just gonna start a new game anyways. Difficulty normal, and let's go. You've both been- ah, you're- wait a second. You've both being awakened from sea sleep as we've detected a distress call from Outpost Haven. Typo. Interesting. There are signs of a rad leak around three months ago. It's at safe levels now, but it's affecting my ability to thermal scan the station, so you're going in blind. This is just a quick SAR mission. It's unlikely anyone will be still alive. Prepare for drop-off in five minutes. Haley, who is apparently our tech coordinator on this mission, or whatever. Why is moving a little bit left? Welcome to Outpost Haven. We hope you enjoy your stay. Haven. 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 Okay, let's move on. This is the player character. I've, you can always start out with an assault rifle, although you always have the laser vision when you just start. But I have other things, like modifications. Right at the door. Little key cards help you get stuff. Who the hell is that? Oh crap! Metapax right there. Jameson's not gonna be sticking around for long though. Just gonna get this quick and bam! I suggest Jameson you take the. Ah, you can read that yourself. Be lucky. Yeah, you do. That'll be important for later. But for now, I might as well go over it. You have this entire wheel of weapons. You first start with the pistol, which is incredibly weak, which sucks, but it has infinite ammo. And you have the assault rifle. All of these are purchasable when you first reach a shop if you acquire the selected money. SMG sucks. I haven't tried the Vulcan. China Lake's got a slow reload. Pulse rifle's amazing, flamethrower's good, shotgun is good as well. Although it's got a pretty big spread, which makes it annoying. Alright, now an important thing. I said that I found all these little data things a while ago, or at least most of them. These look like this. They're scattered all around the entire map, so if you find them, you can get little bits of backstory on what happened on the station. I think I still have these with me, so I can. I think I'm going to read them at the start of, ep of level 7, just so you guys know what is going on. This info card contains schematics for Haven. They are stored in low-res format to allow quick WiMAX transfer and should be compatible with all with all makes of tracking and mapping handhelds. The data transfer will begin automatically when this card is closed down, Gary Mason. The all men are here, and they're so very hungry. I like how I know that when I just saw one roach. I also named most of these. Things. What the heck is this? Oh man, oh crap, I'm dead. See these little blue lines? They will help guide you around the place if you need to. What the hell is that thing? An important thing to know is that on my assault rifle, I have an extended clip and full metal jacket rounds. This means that my shots are more powerful, and instead of the standard 60 clip, I have 80 shots in my clip. So keep that in mind when you start out, you're going to be a lot weaker than what I am. 
And like I said, you're only going to have two weapons, so keep that in mind. And here are some more roaches. Roaches are easy to dispatch. But you got to be careful if they swarm you. Come on. Oh crap. That'll bug a bit. Key cards. Occasionally some annoying set pieces of music. I call the big guys hunters. Just for future reference. This floor is clear, just grab everything you need and head on to the lift. And that's it. That's level one. I'm performing DNA analysis to try and verify what species they are. Current designation is EVE. We're going to have to treat them as a contaminant, which means along with searching for survivors, you're going to have to ensure they don't spread from the station. The next floor is mainly offices, but you should be able to find the occupant's master card info, info card, which we need for MFM, Mass Fatality Management, which means lots of dead guys. In short, you're probably the only human thing left on the station. Well, you and Jameson. You're going to want to follow the white path in order to find what you're looking for. The red path's entirely optional, and the blue path's what you're going to want to take once you've gotten your objective down here. I think I'll go here. Yes. Here are the shop vendors in Outpost Haven. From here you can check on challenges for certain weapons and things. You can buy weapons and their appropriate um, enhancements, I guess. So like I said, extended mag gives me 20 extra clips, and FMJ gives me more power. Um, I'm going to be using the assault rifle, the shotgun, the pulse rifle, and the flamethrower. Oh, and the China Lake, too, but that's at the very end for something special. The meta pack, in case you're low on health, each meta pack heals about half your health bar, so keep that in mind. Make sure to save it for when you think you'll need it. Magazines, so you can buy ammunition for any kind of gun in case you're running low. Each clip costs $300. Try not to buy any odd clips, so if you're only missing like three bullets, don't buy a clip worth 300 bucks. And here's key packs to get you into extra doors. Now I won't be spending almost, I'll be spending like none of this money because I'll be spending like none of this money because I've already gotten everything I want. So pretty much I can just save it for whatever I want. But I really encourage you guys to first get the pulse rifle. The pulse rifle is a very good weapon, especially with full metal jacket rounds. One pulse rifle shot with full metal jacket can easily take out a roach. I encourage you guys to also completely skip over the SMG for as long as you possibly can. The shotgun's also a good mission, especially, especially for the next level, so make sure to do that if you can. If you've got the money for it. The first time you play this, it's probably going to be kind of scary some instances. Oh crap, oh I just pushed that thing through the door. There are sometimes they got little glitches in this game which kinda suck. Like this. Down here is just another shop, and yeah, that's about it for this episode. Just run down here, open this, get a nice amount of money, and next episode I'll be continuing with level two. Alright.